Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Patty, for those of you who do not know, and we are getting into another weekly vlog. And guys, I'm gonna keep it a full bucky buck buck with you. Your girl is tired. <laughs> it has been what three weeks of non stop moving and rolling, and it is hitting me. <laughs> it is hitting me. And we still got three more weeks before I finally get a rest weekend, like a full rest weekend. Whew, so, <laughs> I'm just getting in from work, and it's Tuesday, and honestly, y'all know I love going to the movies, but I'm ready to go to sleep. <laughs> I just want to nap, get up, um, prep my meals for the rest of the week, and then nap again, and then we'll go to bed. <laughs> I did make it to the gym yesterday, I'm going to make it again tomorrow morning. But it's catching up to me. Your girl is losing steam. <laughs> so Friday, I'm going to see uh, Travis Porter. Finally go see my girl, Jess. Can't wait to see her. Um, at RVRS. The place will be on the screen. It's fine. We've been there before. <laughs> During the summer. And then Saturday, I have a wax appointment. And I'm going to dinner with the Queen Ventures. And then Sunday... I am going to church, going to take a nap, and then do a dinner for Jess's birthday. So, we are almost there, guys. <laughs> almost there. Um, the following weekend, my friend Bay will be here. I haven't seen Bay in person since it's been almost a year and a half. I miss my friend so much, so can't wait for her to come. We're going to do a tequila tasting class. We're going to go find somewhere fun for dinner. I think we're doing a comedy show that's going to be here in town that Sunday. And then the weekend after that is Easter. And I will be back in Richmond. And then the weekend after that, your girl is going to rest. So, much to do, y'all. Much to do. I just ordered a whole bunch of stuff from Amazon um, to fix up my office a little bit. Just the desk area. I'm, I need to make a list. Let's make a list of all the decor stuff I want to get while I can. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. But your girl's tired. I'm ready for this nap. What is up, y'all? So your girl ordered some stuff for the office because... I just wanted to. <laughs> so I got this the big old box from the Amazon. <laughs> and although I am tired as I don't know what, because I was up late last night watching Love is Blind. If you've watched it, you watched the reunion. I don't want to be that person spoiling things. I know some people take their time to watch them. But baby, it was good. <laughs> I kind of like having like the old cast, <laughs> you know, from previous seasons there. So that was interesting. Um, yeah, it was good though. But it was long. And I didn't start watching it as soon as it started. Like I just thought it was going to be like maybe 30 minutes to an hour. But an hour and a half? I wasn't prepared. I was not. Okay, so I ordered these, um, like, little mat, desk mats for my keyboard and mouse to sit on because you know how you buy things and then you really think about the logic after the fact? So my desk is white, but it's, like, getting, like, scratched up a little bit um, from my keyboard and writing and all of those things. So... The thing is, I ordered two different sizes. They come in a multitude of sizes. And I'll show y'all when I put my desk together tomorrow, like how everything looks. And I'll have these things linked down below. But I ordered two different sizes. But what I'm comp but like I'm contemplating in my mind, this is obviously I think too small. Um, is that my chair is this color? And the curtains that I'm planning to get are like a burnt oranges kind of color. And I just feel like it's going to look a little too much. I was trying not to get this in like the green color. Because I was like, oh, I don't want to be too matchy with the couch. But I need to get a different color. <laughs> Pick out a color maybe that's in that painting. Um, but I'm still going to like, you know, set it up to see what it's going to look like. But... These were cheap. These were like 
$7.99, which is rounded up to $8. So, and they had three or four different sizes that they can come in. But I definitely think we're going to order a different color because I think that's just going to be too much. And I have ordered a mouse pad, this similar color. I just, I really wanted like a leopard print, but I thought I was like doing a little too much. Um, a box in a box. I am so exhausted, y'all. Like, I think I told y'all at the beginning of this vlog, like, being busy this month is really catching up to me. And although I'm grateful for the job, I'm grateful to start working. Starting to work during one of the busiest months of the year for me has been hard. <laughs> it has been, it's been rough. Um, but it's okay. Three more weekends and your girl can rest. So, this, this baby right here, that I'm clearly struggling to open, it's an acrylic stand that you can use for your um, monitors or, and, as well as like a laptop stand because I like to watch TV <laughs> while I'm working. Like I need sound and stuff to focus and be able to do my job well. So um, usually I had my personal computer sitting on top of my work computer between my dual monitors and that was like a working thing for me. However, my old work laptop from a previous job that I still haven't mailed back yet. I know. Um, when I looked at the top of that thing, I said, oh my gosh. So I think that when those two computers were sitting on each other, it was rubbing or doing something weird as they got hot. So what I actually think I'm going to do is probably order two more of these because my current monitors are a little too low anyway, so they can actually be eye level as such, but this it looks like it's gonna get the job done. This also comes in different sizes, wider, um, shorter lengths, but I just wanted to make sure that one, actually, let's see if my work laptop will even fit in here. Cause that's honestly gonna be, we don't have to pull it all the way out, right? Okay, so this is what I originally ordered. It's working out perfectly. My work laptop and my personal. So as you can see, I can <laughs> watch TV and also get my work done. It really helps me focus. Um, and then I went back and ordered these. Um, so they would be kind of similar. They're not really similar height, but this works for me. <laughs> I don't have to like lean forward anymore on the desk because I'm trying to scrunch down. Clearly, I need a desk. I'm going to do that in a second. But I love that they're clear so it's not like opaque and taking up too much space. So this worked out perfectly. So the thing that I'm not liking right now is this. Let me back up so you can see a little bit more. I just don't like it. And I think it's partly because it's opaque. And what really draws me to liking these is that it's not taking up space with the clear acrylic. You know what I mean? And because my desk isn't super huge, it's a nice size desk, don't get me wrong. I just feel like it's just a big, massive block. So I think what I'm going to do is actually return these. Y'all order for them. <laughs> four different colors but it's fine i'm gonna return this and i think i'm just gonna buy like the wrist support and then also get a mouse an ergonomic mouse um because it's just i don't know and this is actually the smaller size i thought the um small size was going to be too small but it's actually perfect for this desk but yeah i just don't like it i don't like it let me show you the difference without you see what I mean? Like, it does look a little naked. Um, I don't know. Maybe I just need to go with my first mind and get this in a lighter color so it's not so opaque. 
Um, and I haven't put up the chords just yet. But it just feels less blocked. I don't know. Happy Saturday. We are heading to dinner. I am running late per usual. So we just finna hurry up and head out. We're going to try this new restaurant called Nico. It's a Japanese restaurant. I've been craving some hibachi. So fingers crossed it's good. what is up y'all happy sunday i did not give you like a whole rundown of the place so i had no idea that nico the japanese restaurant that you just saw was a whole little vibe like i didn't know they had a dj and play music and none of that because typically when you think of like japanese restaurants you think sushi you think possibly hibachi like I just, the math wasn't mathing. All of a sudden, the music started going, and I was like, hold on, wait a minute, where am I? <laughs> and it was loud. So I would say, I think the music started right at 8 o'clock. If you're trying to go and have, like, a quiet dinner moment, get there before then because at 8 o'clock, is rocking, and it's really not, <laughs> like, a conversational dinner type of vibe. It's definitely a vibe. <laughs> and they play all different type of music. Um. They they started off with some of the twerk classics, hip hop, R and B. Um, they definitely played some Spanish music, some reggaeton, um, and a little bit of pop. So it was a really, really good mix, um, and I had a really, really good time. I didn't go anywhere else after because y'all know I'm entering a season of balance <laughs> and rest. So I decided to come home and rest. So I could get up, go to church today, and then we're heading out in a little bit for Jess's birthday. It's her birthday. Happy birthday, girl. <laughs> uh, church was so good today. Like, these past two weeks, um, Verdict been doing his thing, okay? Like, I felt so convicted because, <sighs> y'all, I got so frustrated yesterday and a few times this week. And I feel like I've really been in this season of like, God, why aren't you answering my prayers in the way that I want you to? And, you know, he is big G for a reason. <laughs> it's not about what I want. I mean, it is to a certain extent, but it's also like, I feel like God's saying, let me do me, bro. Like, stop trying to control it. Stop trying to put your hands all over it. Stop trying to direct me into doing what I do and have been doing for centuries. Yeah, <laughs> I honestly feel like um, <laughs> like a little toddler that's not getting their way and been real, real upset and mad or whatever. So it's been really, really good. I was super, super convicted. But I really like this series that he's been doing and how well he's been doing at breaking down the word. Um, I really like it when people keep going back to the scripture. Like, let's break down the word of God. You know what I'm saying? So... I am super excited <laughs> about some of the next sermons to come. Um, I am going to continue my quest of looking for like additional churches and stuff. Um, but for this series, like I've been locked in. So we are going to dinner at 60 Vines for Jess. And then I think we might be going somewhere after um, depending on how much we eat because <laughs> the food and the drinks are really, really good. And I'm not sure if we're going to have the energy to go somewhere else. But if we do, I'm going to bring y'all along for sure. Um, I will go ahead and say like what I'm proud of for this week. I am proud of my pivot game. Like my pivot game is strong. Okay. <laughs> I'm very proud of that. I'm proud of myself for maintaining my at least bare minimum of three days of the gym. Um, and I'm proud of myself for um, <sighs> putting in place good boundaries. So I actually this week, I didn't tell y'all, I sent out like a um, mass text to my friends, letting them know that 
I was canceling the trip I was planning for my birthday this year um, and also putting a block on my calendar for the summer just because it's going to take me some time to get back to where I want to be financially. Um, I seriously, in the next two years, want to be a homeowner. <laughs> and I just, like, even though I want this season to be fully over, it took a minute, you know what I'm saying? And it's going to take a minute for me to get back in a good place. Um, and I just want to be prepared. Like, I, one thing I could tell you for certain going through this season, like, being prepared and having, like, you know, emergency savings and all those things is... It's super important to me. Like, I, unfortunately, not even unfortunately, but with the salary decrease and having that less, you know, lesser funds, I just have to move a little differently. And I just want to get to a place I'm comfortable before I'm back spending a whole bunch of money. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just don't even make sense. And something that I've been craving for a super long time is just, more rest like I'm tired of looking at my calendar and there's something to do all the time like yesterday was so nice just waking up on my own time and getting up and not having plans till later like I just kind of want to be in a floating sense um not over scheduled going to bed <laughs> on time like I'm really just trying to be better balanced and I crave rest y'all even though it's summer time y'all know I love to be outside it's being outside during the day <laughs> I really want to be at home by eight o'clock <laughs> nine o'clock is pushing it but I just I crave rest and not being tired and not being over scheduled so um I made the very hard decision like Definitely was crying the night before I sent the message. Um, but my friends are amazing. You know, I know the real ones. The ones that really, really support me and love me and, you know, are super understanding that it's a comeback season for me. And I really need to stack. I really need to save. I really need to invest. I really need to get back to a place where I'm comfortable, um, not only financially, but mentally and spiritually as well. Um, I will be starting therapy soon <laughs> as well. And um, I'm just, I'm serious about these goals I have. And I'm okay if I have to sit down just a little bit more <laughs> than normal um, delayed gratification. You know, it's like, it's okay. I have things I'm really, really working towards and it costs Y'all know life is expensive. <laughs> Inflation keep going up. These rents keep going up. These mortgages keep going up. And these salaries is not at the same rate. So, um, yeah. I will talk to y'all when I get to uh, 60 Vines. It's the birthday, girl! Reunited at last. <laughs> I know it's been so long. So long. Ooh, look at that but book. I'm back, though. I'm back She's in back. Charlotte. So. You gonna see her a lot. Yeah. All the time. But Especially in the summertime, because you know we're gonna be out in the streets. It's streets real heavy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So we had a really, really good time last night. 60 Vines was good per usual. Um, I got the salmon, but your girl was still hungry. <laughs> so I also ended up getting the pizza so I could also have food for today. Um, but it was a really, really good time. After dinner, we went over to Red, um, the hookah spot for a little bit. Um, I had hookah, a couple of drinks, and then called it a night. <laughs> I was still home by like 10 to 15. Uh, and I decided that today was going to be my non-workout day, um, just so I wasn't overly exhausted, all for all of my meetings to be canceled today. <laughs> it's fine. I'll find some little traded busy work to do, but it was a good time. It was a really, really good week, um, and there's much to get done for the next week. <laughs> so next next week what are we doing next week oh bay will be here um we're doing a tequila tasting class and might be doing some other little activities so <laughs> stay tuned for that and as always y'all thank you so so much for watching and subscribing and i'll catch y'all in another video bye